The Spy is a class that has a variety of important jobs that if done correctly will open up prime opportunities for your team to strike the enemy and hit them where it hurts. One of those jobs are picking off enemies who are giving your team massive problems such as pesky snipers, heavies, and medics with an uber charge. Another one of Spy's jobs, and arguably his most important one, is shutting down engineers and their sentries, which allow your team to break through choke points scattered around the map and ultimately achieve victory. So what better way to do this job than to use the old reliable sapper, which has been the go-to choice for almost all spies across the entirety of TF2's lifespan, and rightfully so, the other choice in sappers is the red tape recorder, which just doesn't accomplish the job of taking out sentry nests as well. The red tape recorder kills every one of engineers' buildings much slower and has close to no upside for doing so. So then, what is the point of using the red tape recorder at all? Although there are many situations where the stock sapper is the better choice, there are scenarios in which the red tape recorder dominates and should be your go-to choice. First, we'll take a look at the engineer's weapon arsenal, more specifically, his shotguns. The Frontier Justice is a weapon that gets much stronger after an engineer's sentry dies, and enables him to tear through enemies he would normally never stand a chance against. This is because he gains revenge credits upon his sentry's death, depending on how many kills and assists it has. This is where the red tape recorder comes in. Since it kills sentries much slower than normal, an engineer will not gain access to the crit stored in his sentry until much later. While this may not seem like a big deal at first, if you have some team coordination, you can communicate to your team and tell them to kill the engineer before the sentry, completely negating the crits he may gain. And I know what you may be thinking, can't the normal sapper also do this with some team coordination? And while the answer is yes, it's nowhere near as effective as the slower killing time of the red tape recorder, which provides more time for you and your team to kill the engineer before the sentry is eventually destroyed. Another shotgun that the red tape recorder troubles is the rescue ranger, and at first glance you may not think so, but if you're against an engineer who almost exclusively heals his sentry from range, then you can force the engineer to take risk and leave his position in order to re-level his sentry, allowing you and your team to eliminate both the engineer and the sentry in one fell swoop. This is unlike the sapper, which would destroy the sentry completely and signal the engineer's retreat. This provides yet another advantage, because if the engineer decides to retreat while the red tape recorder is on his sentry, then he must wait a much longer time to start rebuilding his sentry than if you had put a normal sapper on his sentry, as he isn't able to build another sentry until his current one is destroyed. The final shotgun the red tape recorder negates is the Widowmaker, because it forces the engineer to spend tons of metal on re-upgrading his buildings instead of just having to repair them, which if you didn't know, is much cheaper. This takes away from the Widowmaker's ammo pool quickly, and makes it almost useless if you're able to constantly de-level his buildings. The major drawback to all three of the strategies I just mentioned is that you must either be coordinated with your entire team or have proper timing in order to find gaps where the engineer's defenses are lowered and he is distracted doing other things in order to provide enough time to downgrade his buildings. Another item that the red tape recorder counters really well is the gunslinger. Since an engineer can't build or destroy a sentry while it's being sapped, the slower sapping time again comes in handy as usually a gunslinger engineer wants to access as many sentry as much as possible. So the slow sapping time kills two birds with one stone as a gunslinger engineer doesn't want to actively remove a sapper mid-fight as that puts him at a significant disadvantage, especially considering that the gunslinger engineers tend to be in very aggressive positions, so removing the sapper is normally not even an option. But since the red tape recorder takes longer than normal, if an engineer chooses to leave it, then he won't have access to his mini sentry for quite some time, in which case he will more than likely encounter a lopsided fight that he can't win. The final advantage that the red tape recorder has is its ability to catch engineers off guard when they're moving their buildings. This is because the red tape recorder doesn't directly damage Engie's buildings, but instead deconstructs them. So if you're able to find an engineer who's in the process of moving his sentry gun, for example, you can put a sapper on it the moment he places it, and it will near instantly destroy the sentry, no matter what level it is. The sapper, on the other hand, doesn't deal enough damage to the sentry while being reconstructed to destroy it, which allows engineers to deal with you first and then get rid of the sapper long before any real harm is done. So to summarize, the red tape recorder overall isn't better than the stock sapper in terms of raw power and ability to deal with engineers' buildings quickly, but it makes up for it in terms of being able to catch engineers off guard, slow down what the engineer is able to do at any given moment, and reward coordinated attacks with your team. This leads to my next point that you shouldn't just go and use the red tape recorder all the time. It's very useful in the right situation, but it's a direct downgrade if not used correctly. So I recommend using it when you're able to communicate and coordinate with your team, which means in most casual games it probably shouldn't be your sapper of choice, but if you're in a game with some friends, it may be the perfect time to whip out the red tape recorder and see what nightmare you can create for the enemy engineers. Other than that, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below what I can do to improve on my content in the future.